So would you rather live in a complete dictatorship like North Korea, right? Super, even even maybe even to the extreme, like North Korea, right? Or a country with no laws whatsoever. Ooh. Yeah. I, I've already... The silence is deafening. Yeah. Because at one end... You don't have no freedom, and at the other end, you have too much freedom. And everybody has. I'm not worried about me having too yeah. much freedom. I'm worried about other people having too much freedom. I trust myself. The the point I brought up because Corey asked me this prior um, is like, do you know that zone they had? I think in Portland, where oh there yeah, were no we're, police. Yeah, that's not even close to what I'm talking about. No, I know. That's what I'm. That's my point. And that like that got really really bad in a hurry. And that's not even close to It'd what be the he's purge. Yeah. yeah, for a minute at least. Yeah, you'd have to survive that. Would you kill someone? Yeah. You got a list? I ain't got. A I list. wouldn't. I wouldn't murder someone. But yeah. see, I wouldn't yeah, go okay. out of my way to kill them. But if Shaman, they came and I at feel me. like you would. Look, <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Ellie. The way you're stroking the mic stand when you said that. The look in your eye. Your past history. Things we know. No, I wouldn't go out of my way to kill them, but you know, I mean, if they want to fuck with me, like, hey. But what's but fuck with shaman is like get my way, getting glanced <laughs> at at a red light. But there wouldn't even be a red light because there's no laws. It'd yeah. be insane. I, see, I'd probably go dictatorship. I kind of would too. I well, think, and it's all about your stature in, in the dictatorship. Isn't that crazy though? You'd rather be, yeah. You'd rather be oppressed than have complete freedom. What's that say about people? Uh, people need to be told what to do. You know what I mean? Like, people always want freedom until they actually get freedom and it's not what they thought. Yeah. Complete freedom, yeah. Anyway, something to ponder. What you? What did you say? What? Which, what did you pick? Dictatorship? Yeah. We're all in the dictatorship. Yeah. But then Spe- Shaman's getting killed for getting out of line in the dictator. Well, it's, it's hard because if you're just like a, pe- like not a, not a peasant, but like a poor farmer. I, mean, I think peasant's appropriate. Um, you're fucked. Like you're having a bad time in a dictatorship. But if you're like a high ranking official, your life's great. You know, so it all depends. It's all relative. But everybody's life is shit and lawlessness, right? Unless, I mean. Unless you're in control of something pretty much the but same. But that's the same it's thing. Gonna, it's going to break into different games. Yeah. And there's going to be new laws created by yeah. people. Like, even in lawlessness, like, it, w- it, it would... It always reverts It back. would just come back to yep. someone else being in charge. Yep. yep. Crazy. Yeah, I think I picked a dictatorship. And then secretly overthrow it. See, that's what I was thinking, too. Like, it'd be easier to overthrow the dictatorship because it's more people oppressed at, under one person between the lawlessness of the, the different gangs and shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sadie's fed up. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Extra Medium Show. And we are back again with the Extra Medium Show. I am Corey. I'm Alex. Shaman. In the corner, as usual, and I have a game. We have no idea what this game. I is. know. I just told they they asked me what the uh, episode was going to be about this week, and I said it's a secret. I have a game. Cool, love it. Kind of similar. Is it sexual? No. Oh, damn it! I know. I should have made it, but it's kind of similar to our topic on the last episode about catchphrases okay okay but it's not catchphrases right right it's taglines okay so for instance okay what would be on the movie poster okay to describe the movie and you have to guess what movie it is okay. for example i'll start with the gimme a long time ago in a galaxy far far star away wars, star wars yeah okay get it one point alex you get the gist now that we have to wait till you finish it, or I don't. This is just going to be a general thing. I don't. We we don't have to like keep score, keep score. I mean, you guys can keep score if you want. I'm not keeping score. I don't want that pressure. <laughs> Me neither. I wasn't. If you want, I'll break them down into like categories of like comedies, and give you clues that way. Because mm. the list I'm reading off of, 
um I want it to be as hard of. as possible. Okay. No categories. Say less. Okay. All right. We'll start mild. You know what I mean? Right. And we'll get a little more obscure. Okay. All right. Um, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Jaws 2. Nice. Nice. A lot of people would have went one. No. You got to go back into the water. Yeah. All right. All right. Houston, we have a Pause problem. I'm sorry, Shane. No, it's fine. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. All right. Um, his whole life was a million to one shot. Ooh. His whole life. See, I started off with some softballs. Alex got super cocky. <laughs> million to one shot. Million to one shot. Oh man, give us a category. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a category and then I'll break it down. It's a, it's a drama, action drama kind kind of drama slash action, not action slash drama. Okay. Sports drama. Oh. Soul life was a million to one shot. We're not gonna stay on it too long. Does anybody have a final answer? No. no. Rocky, come on, guys! Um, I would, million not, to one I would not have gotten that. Oh, sorry. Keep it going. All right. Um, they're young, they're in love, and they kill people. Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Same as on the board. Okay. We need sound effects back. <laughs> All right. On every street and every city in this country, there is a nobody who dreams of being a somebody. I know this. I feel like I know this. It's a hard one. We have talked about it, and we did talk about it last week, so I'm trying to stay on that. Okay. Say it again one more time for me. <clears throat> on every street and every city in this country, there is a nobody who dreams of being a somebody. Ooh. All right, give us one more hint. Give me at least the thing. It's a classic movie. Casablanca? No, not that classic. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Taxi driver. Uh, See, I wouldn't have gotten that. I don't know if I would have. I guess I didn't know it. Some of these are super hard. Okay, this one's easy. For Harry and Lloyd, every day is a no brainer. Dumber, dumber. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just knew the names. <laughs> yeah. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Ooh. I'm not keeping score, so if you guys are... I mean, Alex was clearly winning. <laughs> <laughs> He's having the worst day of his life over and over. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Come on, Shaman. You step it up. A comedy of trial and error. Uh, I don't know. A comedy of trial and Oh, um, my cousin Vinny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just guessed. I didn't know that. Um, on the air, unaware. Um, good morning, Vietnam. No. But I like where your mind went there. like where your mind went. You're on the right track there. <laughs> Ooh. Was it, say it again. On the air, period. Unaware, period. Okay. I don't know. The Truman Show. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. Are there Makes any sense. of these that you object to so far? I, is this no. I feel like they're pretty easy. Yeah, why don't you tell I mean, us? We're missing a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of hard ones yeah, on here that yeah, I'm yeah, skipping yeah. over. I'm trying to give you um, easy ones. Give us a couple of the hard ones. <laughs> I might. I might do better on the hard ones. Who knows? <laughs> Okay. Um, nice planet. We'll take it. Uh, when Mars attacks. <laughs> okay. Okay, Shaman. See, you kept asking him the movies he knew. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was trying to go with more classic movies. <laughs> um, the true story of a real fake. Uh, uh, catch me if you can. Yeah. Ah. You guys could, have done I, a lot better than I thought I you would. Remember the freaking <laughs> name of the movie. I just watched it, too. It's a good movie. It is. I don't know if you guys will get this one. 
See our family and feel better about yours. Uh, the Royal T- Tenenbaums. No. There's a clue. Um, animated. The Incredibles? No. That America's Family. Say it again. America's Family. Uh, family Guy? Ma- American Dad? No. Uh, Who's America's Animated Family? Simpsons. Simpsons. Yes. The Simpsons movie, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Jeez. That was a bad one. Putting it on a platter to you yeah. guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a good one. His story will touch you even though he can't. Bubble War. No, but I like, I see, I Edward like where you're going. Scissor hands. Yeah. Ah! Man, and I would say collusion, but I, they didn't know. I kept this to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Love is a force of nature. Twister? No. Uh, ooh. <laughs> but that's good. Yeah, that was good. Emphasize more of the love. And force. I don't know. <laughs> Say it again. You're never going to get it. Love is a force of nature. Yep. I don't know. I don't know. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was never going to get that. <laughs> that was so far <laughs> down. <laughs> <on the list. laughs> I just had to throw it in there. Um. You don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. Uh, the social network. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually watched that all the way through. Oh, really? I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. <laughs> he had to pay. Um, the mission is a man. Mission Impossible. No. Is a man? The mission is a man. Uh, ooh. I don't know. You know. Do I? Oh, yeah. Robocop. No. The mission is a man. The Martian. No. All right. Austin but, Powers. No, but you're on. You're on the right track. I'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two. I don't know. Interstellar. Saving Private Ryan. Ah, oh, <laughs> come oh. on. You're right. You're so right. <laughs> yeah. You, I knew you'd be mad about that one. <laughs> Fear can hold you prisoner. Hope can set you free. Uh, Shawshank. Yeah. Dang, I was going to say it. Shutter Island. That's a good one, too. I'm trying to find stuff. Yeah, some of these can go, like, from multiple different movies. Earth. It was fun while it lasted. Wally. No. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Titan A. Nope. I don't know. I, I can picture. Oh, my God. I, I've heard this before. I don't want to close my eyes. Oh, I'm fucking never getting <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. That was good. To hear that. Uh, um, here they grow again. Ooh. Oh, uh, Gremlins? No. What? Gremlins 2. <laughs> Gremlins I was like, two. okay, yeah. I've, I'll give I've you never that seen one. a Gremlins movie. That was good. I'm proud. Proud of Shaman for that one. Hey, I know a few. <laughs> You don't assign him to murder cases. You just turn him loose. Uh, Classic. Sh- oh. Sherlock Holmes. No. No. Uh, Devil's Advocate. No. Do you feel lucky? Uh, Dirty Harry. Yeah. Um, the last man on earth is not alone. Wally. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Just yeah. talked about it. Um. The Last Man on Earth. What movie's about The Last Man on Earth? I don't know. I Am Legend. Oh. Ah. You guys need to <laughs> need to get the brains going a little bit. <laughs> we need to take a break. We're all right. All right. We can, I mean, we could do this forever, but um, are there, are you, can you guys think of any like alternate descriptions of movies? <sighs> all right. Um... Why so serious? Uh, the jo- Dark Knight. Shaman, where are you? It's that was for you. <laughs> uh, we scare because we care. Uh, I'm very bad at titles. <laughs> um, we scare because we care. Beetlejuice? No. Your wife knows it. Damn. I heard her. I 
I don't know. Do you know? Frighteners? Wait. What? No. Uh, what is it? Monsters Inc. Ah, oh, come shit. on. Fuck. Why are we missing these? <laughs> <laughs> We're like overthinking. That's our excuse. Yeah, you're way overthinking. That's how I feel like you guys need to like All right. recalibrate. All right. An adventure 65 million years in the making. Jurassic Park. Yeah. Okay. You're back on track. Alex is. I never started on that track. <laughs> we'll get you there. Um, with great power comes great responsibility. Uh, uh, Superman. No. Uh, Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad at myself for mixing up those two. I had no idea. That was... <laughs> Midnight never strikes when you're in love. Cinderella. Yeah. Mm. Damn. Hell yeah, boy. You'll never go in the water again. Jaws? Yeah. Jaws 1. See? Nice. It wasn't Jaws 2. I knew that. <laughs> um, here comes the bride. Uh, oh. Father here. of the bride? Uh, nope. Here comes the bride. Made in Manhattan? Nope. Uh, Not even close. <laughs> I don't know. Kill Bill, Volume 1. Oh, uh, her name is the bride. Uh. The first casualty of war is innocence. <laughs> Alex's face lit up when I said it. <laughs> he knows it from somewhere, people. <laughs> the casualty of war. Is it? No, it is. It is, yeah. What? You wanted to say it? Just Platoon. say it, man. Just say it. Platoon. Oh. Uh. Hell yeah. Love is a force of nature. I just gave you this one. I just said this. I literally just said this. Oh, uh, broke back down. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh. She brought a small town to its feet and a corporation to its knees. Legally Blonde? I don't know. Mm. It's relevant to Ohio. Oh, uh, Eric. Eric uh, fucking <laughs> no. Oh. I mean, yeah, but no. What Is that you Eric? Saying? No, Erner Bercervik or whatever her fucking name was. <laughs> I don't know her fucking name. Am I right, though? You know uh, what I'm saying? I don't know if I can accept that. <laughs> I do know what you're saying. Do you know what he said? I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. I can't. I don't know. Her. One more try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the judges can accept that. What? I, I don't fucking know What's her name. Movie? Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I knew it's Rock. Some weird last name. And it was you a, said something in German. I don't even know what you said. I said Erica Brockovich. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> That's pretty close. I guess so. I knew the movie. <laughs> you know when you laugh real hard and the front of your head hurts? Like on the sides. Oh. All right. I don't know if I can go. Well, you got that point. I'll give you the point. I'll give it to you. For that. I just didn't know the actual fucking name. Like, <sighs> I knew Roberts. what it was about. Julia Roberts. Yeah. It's about water pollution and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Didn't she have a baby in a Walmart? What? Is that Aaron Brock? No. No. I don't know what you're talking about. That was uh, Natalie Portman in something else. Monster? I don't know. Is that Monster? I don't know. Lady that kills people? No. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I think we're all three talking about three <laughs> different things. Okay. Um, reality is a thing of the past. Blast from the past? No. Uh. Reality... It's but, a thing uh, of the past. Uh, yep. You got it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. The Matrix. Mm. You should have known that. It has nothing to do with the past. It's the present, brother. Same make, same model. Terminator? New mission. Two. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, this could go on forever, but uh, all right, we'll do like what, like five more? Okay. Ten more? Okay. We'll do six more. Okay. Um. Family isn't a word; it's a sentence. Uh, Lilo true. and S- no, Lilo and Stitch. No, you said it earlier. Family Some, Guy. Somebody said it. Earlier. American Dad. No. It's a sentence. Casablanca. Family isn't a word. It's a sentence. I don't know. The Royal Tannenbaums. Ah, oh, that's such an obscure one too. Well, I know. I was surprised you didn't get it because you guessed. Like I thought you would at least like throw it out there because it's family, yeah. and then it was. Yeah. I did it for Simpsons, which is America's family. You know. Nope. Yep, that's weird. Um, one man struggle to take it easy. The Big Lebowski. No. <laughs> I don't know. One man struggle to take it easy. How's it? It's uh, crazy how I say it different and it changes it. Yeah, I don't know. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. No. See it with a bud. With a bud? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, is it? Days to Confuse. Yeah. That's what I was, I was trying to remember the goddamn fucking name. <laughs> her life was in their hands. Now her toe is in the mail. Um, I think I know this movie, but I don't know. Her life was in their hands. Now her toe is in the mail. Uh, it's unbelievable how you guess stuff in the past and then don't <laughs> guess it when it's the movie. You just said it. What did I just say, Shaman? I don't know. Like within the last, I guarantee, 90 seconds, you, you just said this name, the name of this movie. So, what was the first clue? What was the one that you do you remember what I said it for? No, it's the Big Lebowski. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yep. Just because they serve you doesn't mean they like you. Is that a racial thing? No, no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, this, I don't know. Clerks. Ah. What was that? God, damn. Life is in their hands. Death is on their minds. Classic movie. What's the genre? Classic movie. Uh, drama, I guess. Uh, What's the decade? Black and white. Oh, okay. Uh. Uh, Life is in their hands. Probably there? watched it in school. Romeo and Juliet. No. Twelve what? Angry Men. You guys have never seen Twelve Angry Men? No, not yet. Not yet. Mm-mm. You're waiting for it to be a century old. No, there's actually a party I was invited to to watch it. <laughs> I swear to God, it's really weird. I swear to God. Okay, we can't just let this pass. You have to explain. <laughs> you got to to a Mark. Twelve Mark. Ang- Mark. Who's been on this show? Marcus. Yeah. Marcus. Um, he he and some buddies were gonna get some beers and, and watch it because it's such a good movie, like such a renowned movie, they're gonna have like a little party around it, and I was invited to it. Are yeah. they inviting twelve people? I don't know. I don't it's know. It's a real miss if not. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed fun, so I it's, said yeah. First of all, that's Mark, I like you, man, but that's weird. Um I don't know. Like, if- Okay, so I guess it's no different than when I have like outdoor movie night. Right. But right. But it's weird that you said you went you're going to like a twelve angry men themed party. Oh no, no, we're watching it. A twelve angry twelve angry men watch party. Yeah. Hmm. And Wait, you've never I'm, seen it before. I haven't. But I've heard amazing things about it. I mean I've never seen it. I don't know if it's amazing. Well, that's what people say it's one of the best movies ever made. For its time, especially, okay. yeah. You okay. Okay. Do you know what it's about? Nope. At all. I'm assuming a jury. Do you, okay. Do you not want me to explain? Just go. Yeah, on, just go. Blind. Yeah. Okay. Watch Twelve Angry Men, everybody. Yeah. 
it's a good it's a good moral story for today too. It's a, <laughs> is it, it a is jury? a good movie. Is it a jury? It's a jury. All right. Okay. But it's very well done. Okay. Like you you could see how that would be boring. Right. It's not. Okay. Okay. Um the longer you wait, the harder it gets. Gone with the wind? No. Not even close. I think the mm. opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> what uh the longer you wait, the harder it gets. I don't know. Forty year old virgin. I guess that could be the opposite of Gone with the Wind. Alright, we'll do a couple more. Uh right. check in, relax, take a shower. Grand Budapest Hotel. No. Does it have to do with the hotel? Yeah. Okay. Um The Shining? Ooh. No, but What? Psycho. Oh, ah, yeah. Bates Motel. Okay. But I was, I was on that right track. That's what I was trying yeah, to, yeah, yeah. but you guys were just staring at me like. Well, you weren't talking. Had, yeah, you didn't. Like, you you just, guys oh. were dogs and I had a treat. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I was trying to end on like a, a banger, you know what I mean? Yeah. The happiest sound in all the world. Um. The, uh. The happiest sound in all the world. A Disney movie? No, like super classic movie. Like super classic. Um, the happiest so sound. Sound, sound music. music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sound as soon of as you music. emphasize sound, we were like, yeah. It's crazy. I just changed the inflection a little bit and it tips it off. All right. That was pretty good, though, right? I enjoyed that. I uh, can't take credit for that. Shout out to Kyle. He came up with that idea. Love it. But, uh, yeah. He he didn't like... I got negative comments about our catchphrase episode. Oh. He said those aren't catchphrases, but eh. that's a different debate. Yeah. But um, he's like, this is famous lines. And I was like, I get what you're saying. Anyway, okay. what did you watch? Shaman? Um, so I started uh, watching uh, the Star Wars movies again. Okay. Uh, a New Hope? Order. What? A New Hope? No, nah, I'm going one, two, uh, three. Ooh. Against the grain. Yeah. How they're supposed to be. That's not Would how... you argue that they're supposed to be the way they came out? No. Um, it's supposed to go one, two, three, well, four, five, six, seven, the story eight, nine. But, yeah. I'm watching them in the order they came out. That's what George Lucas wanted. No, he wanted to uh, get the name out there, and the four, five, and six were more actiony. Well, it wasn't four when he wrote it. It was Star Wars. No, when Star Wars came out, it was called Star Wars. It wasn't called Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Yeah, but he picked the book. There's different books. I yeah, thought he wrote the books. No. Who wrote the books? Somebody else. <laughs> this fucking needs to be. This is horse shit. <laughs> Pretty sure. I don't think so, man. I, th- I, are there, I didn't even know there were books. <laughs> There's not books. He just wrote the shit. <laughs> I saw a video of him writing the shit. It was like 1985. I don't know. Anywho, what uh, episode are you on? Uh, three. <laughs> Avenger of the Sith. That's a kind of kind of started to watch them again because Mandalorian came out. Right. Um, where does that take place in the universe? Like timeline, timeline um, wise. I think after six, okay. but before the new, new like the, new order. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Would you watch Alejandro? I started watching Narcos. Very good. Yep, I, I uh, quite enjoy it. I think I tried to watch it one time when it like first came out, but the majority Spanish got to me a little bit. But now it's fine. I don't mind it. Yeah, but it's authentic. Right, right. Um, big uh, uh, Pedro Pascal. Pascal. Yeah. Pascal. How you feel about Pablo? Is uh, he in it yet? Him? Yeah. That, yeah. Pablo is like they show him. Yeah. I didn't know how early they show him. I forget. Yeah. It's been a long time. 
I um, watched it like when it came out. I just got past the part where the DEA agent's cat got hung. Hanged. See, I don't even remember all hanged. that. Yeah, this whole thing. Um, the good thing about shows like that is you can watch like it's not set in the current time period. Yeah. So it still is watchable now. Like if you yeah. watch something that's set in 2010 that came out in 2010. And you watch it now, it seems dated. Yeah. But if you watch something that came out in 2010... I agree with you. That's very true. And set in the 80s. Yeah. Then it still holds it. That's very true. It kind of goes with, like... I was just thinking that with The Office. Yeah. Like, it looks so dated. Yeah. Like, when they're pulling out the blackberries and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like Narcos, though. It, uh, it seems to have... A nice blend of action and even, not a lot of comedy at all, but there's not there's really light part, lighter. Yeah, there's parts. not a lot of comedy, but it's pretty brutal. Love it. Oh, just did wait. you see the people who got kidnapped in Mexico? Yeah, they found them. Yeah, and they're not good. Yeah, well, they went down for a tummy tuck, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they went down for cosmetic surgery. Mm. Well, it's good. a risky take. But that's not going to keep me out of Mexico. No, like, I mean, two I, people die. Like, if I see someone got murdered in California, it's like, oh, I can't go to California. Someone got kidnapped and murdered. Like, yeah. it happens everywhere. Yeah. Like, I, I don't get it. Would you go back to Mexico? Yeah. Me too. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was, it was nice. great. Delightful people. <laughs> Very nice people. Yeah. Everybody was super nice. I didn't. We didn't run into one person that made me feel... The lo- well, maybe that's not true, but I didn't feel threatened really at all. Yeah, I felt hassled, <coughs> but not threatened. Yeah, yeah, I didn't care for walking down the main drag. Yeah, because yeah, people were like, oh, here, 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 here. like, yeah. nah. You feel pretty though. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Everybody wants you. Hey, <laughs> what'd you watch? Look at me! Look at me! I watched. I have to pull it up because I want to get the exact title right. Amber, the girl behind the alert. All right, then. It was on Peacock. It was a document, documentary, documentary, documentary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's about how the, the girl who got kidnapped that led to them inventing the Amber Alert. I was just talking about Amber Alerts the other day because we do, had one around here. Do you meet one those? N- no. I do. I don't think I've ever gotten like a loud one on my phone. Mm. Uh, I mute I them, but I, they still, like, vibrate on my watch and stuff. Yeah, I'd want people to find my kids and my family. So. Yeah. That could, that little girl could have got saved if yeah. uh, they would have had the ambulance. My thought is, you know how, like, sometimes you're driving on the highway and there's the signs that, like, missing license plate, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm, I know I'm terrible for it, but I'll read it. I'll be like, oh, I might find that person. And then literally 10 seconds. Never. Yeah, but it's supposed to be, like, if you see it and see it. Like, uh, if you're next, the, you know what I mean? Like, they obviously don't expect you to remember all those license plates, but someone is driving next to that car while they're passing that sign. I've never thought of it like that. It happened. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's why. You're absolutely right. Wow. Yeah. But yeah. that's yeah, a silver uh, Honda, and you look over the silver well, Honda. Well, that's like. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So they break down their own. They never found the person who kidnapped her. They found her dead in a river like three days later. Yeah. Like, why that's are you smiling, Shayma? No, I'm not even <laughs> smiling. I didn't see. Okay. I wasn't I even see. smiling, bro. He's he's making me out to be a psychopath. I'm not. I'm not. All right, but uh, <laughs> but um, then it was basically some lady that like heard it on the news, and she was one of the first people like kids that got on the news. They had like home video of her, and it made her like a real person to people. Yeah. So people cared and like were invested in it, and then uh. Some lady like called the radio station and was like, "It might be a good idea if you guys like got something together to like blast this out to everybody." And then it was Arlington, Texas, and then they started it. And then they were talking about like the first time they used it, they found the kid within like. Are there like an statistics hour. showing that it? I'm sure, helps. yeah, because they then they started showing pictures and it made like this huge collage and like it was all it was videos of all these people being reunited like with their kids. Cause, oh like, shit. It went national like f- four or five years later. Oh like, damn! Now it's like a law and like yeah, yeah. But it was a little girl named Amber in like nineteen ninety four. That's like uh, 
America's Most Wanted son. Yeah. Uh, uh, Code Adam. So it's Adam. What's his name? West. Uh, yeah. They yeah. use it in like most uh, hospitals, airports. Yeah. Code Adam. Yeah. yeah it's like if lost a, kid. Lost kid. Huh. Yeah. You're supposed had to like had... lock down. Yeah. In the Code hospitals, you, no one's allowed to leave. All the doors go into security mode where you have to have a key to unlock it, and it's yeah. by section. Yeah. So if you're in like, like the you know the ICU, you cannot get out of the ICU until the lockdown stops. And only select people have keys. At the moment, when I worked at the hospital, I had the key. So I was one of the few people that was allowed to go in between. Oh, I'll be so mad if I had to rely on Shane. <laughs> well, it was security. Secu- like the nurses didn't even have keys to the doors. Security, maintenance, and janitors. We, we would have to go in to the uh, it seems like it should be the opposite. <laughs> Doctors, surgeons, well, no, nurses. nurses. There's been cases where nur- nurses have... Uh, taking kids themselves it's true i it's guess anybody's snatchers. capable that the first one but I, i'll be honest janitor is not a high on the, the prior the list. first uh one that they used the amber alert like it was a babysitter that stole a baby yeah and, like they have like the phone call like, i was like uh i can see i'm i heard the thing and i'm looking and she's right next to me in traffic i can see the baby like, that's the same. Right. Okay, so yeah. that makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah, I always thought you were supposed to just like Look take out a mental for it. note and become just, a vigilante. Yeah, yeah. That's what I always thought. A white Honda, you know, license plate, blah 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 blah. I'm a look for that motherfucker. Yeah, no. yeah and you immediately. Yeah, I don't, okay, I don't see it. And then you go, but five, somebody five passing that is passing it at the same time. Yeah, it's, okay. If they're on that road, right? That's the hope. Damn, that makes more sense. I, I yeah. I've never thought about it like that either. All right, I've had a lot of time to think about this because I watched this whole documentary. So, I would I, I would like to give you credit before we close it out. You were right. Uh, Lucas did write. I fucking said okay. that. But he then later wrote the books in the order that they were supposed to be. Okay. So I mean, yeah, okay. I get why. I get why. Why now they're named one, two, yeah. three, four. I get why they're that because they're the prequels to whatever. But I'm saying like. Dang. Mighty big of you to come yeah. back with that yeah. at the end of the episode. We're all about integrity here at the Extra Medium Show. Integrity. As usual, follow us on the socials, and until next time, stay safe.